Welcome back to another episode of this F1 Manager 24 Alpine Rebuild. We're on episode 16, over the halfway point, and we're closing in on Monza, which is only four days away. If you didn't see the last episode, which was in Zandvoort, go check it out. It was an unreal race for our boys, and I definitely recommend you checking it out. We've got a few things we need to sort out. First of all, our car parts. Side pod's gone, which is a great start. Underfloor gone, also great start. Side pods on both cars, damn. That's not good at all. Dino Boganovic has accepted. Beautiful. So he is now in our affiliates, which is good. He's currently doing a very good job inside of Formula 3, which is perfect for us. Isaac Hadjar has won the feature race. We might come back in for him at some point, but right now I don't think we can. So Ocon has actually come back asking us to kind of match what they offered. Now that, I'm sorry, is absolutely mental. 8.5 million. Oof. Oh, Aston Martin have gone for... Wow, okay. So 7.6, 8.5. That is a crazy, crazy amount. So they're looking at getting both drivers. That would mean then, in theory, Fernando's out of contract, right? Alonso and Stroll, in theory, are... They're done. By extension, right? So let's scout Fernando. It wouldn't be an awful idea to have Fernando in the car for maybe two years. That might be the play. We'll make a counter offer, but we are definitely going to drop it. Let's offer him this. If he doesn't want to accept it, then we may look towards Fernando. We currently have three chassis available as well. So we're going to install both chassis and that will then hopefully put us up a little bit more than where we currently are. So let's go and do high race targets and let's see what we can do in practice. Welcome to life in the fast lane. We're here at Monza in Italy, the home of Ferrari. Who will take home the points this weekend? Now let's get the weekend underway. This is probably going to be the first Grand Prix weekend where we haven't had rain at any point in a very long time. I can't remember the last time we didn't have any rain. Realistically, we're probably going to need to take a new ERS for Pierre this weekend just because 35% is not going to be very good around here. Let's hope for no crashes. So looking at driver watch, we've got Jack Crawford, Chloe Chambers, Colla Pinto, Isaac Hadjar, Bortoletto, Award, and Behrman. <clears throat> how I'm envisioning this Grand Prix to go is it is going to be a slipstream DRS fest. That is exactly how I expect this to go, to be honest. It's quite ironic, actually, with these practice sessions. I'm currently sat up at four o'clock in the morning doing this because we're getting up nice and early to get the coach to Sheffield United away. And sadly, didn't work. So the kill time before I have to leave, nothing better than a practice session. <clears throat> so judging on how long it actually takes to record a whole episode from intro to outro, I should just about have enough time to get one done and maybe practice in quality for the next episode. These are the wee hours and hopefully I'll be able to have a little nap on the coach to Bramall Lane. I mean, we are in a bit of a weird spot in terms of who we sign and who we have for drivers as well as staff. It's definitely something, you know, the poaching's crazy, a crazy mechanic. Absolutely crazy. But it will be interesting. Not a single person went off. Not even a little lockup. Oh, that's a lot of good penalties. Lovely stuff. Beautiful. 100%, 100%. Lovely stuff. One, two, three, four, five. Five cars taking penalties. Both of the V-carbs. Now, we're taking a penalty as well, which is really annoying. Because we could have really eaten into that gap. So primarily for the rest of... P3 for Gasly is just getting the car part up to date and for Ocon is kind of just making sure that is 100% set up while also gaining maximum car parts so as close as maximum as possible really. Six cars now have grid penalties. It's almost half the grid. Hello and welcome to the much anticipated qualifying session. As we've already seen, Monza is a fast, fast circuit and it's no wonder the locals call it La Pista Magica, the magic track. For 80% of this lap, the cars are at full throttle, and the engines will need to give it everything they've got here in qualifying. And you're right. Well, it's nearly time for qualifying. I reckon we might keep it just because this is a massive Grand Prix to get a massive jump on the V-carbs. I might just wait till the next race to do it. Might be a stupid idea, but I think that's how we're going to do it. I'm probably only going to do one run in this session. It's because I want to save as much tyres as possible possible it does run the risk if the drivers make a mistake but at the same time our first mistake now, of the weekend that's the driver we might be signing as well crust okay it's the bam oh on might have a little bit of traffic that's all good though if he has tires aren't warm which isn't ideal joe spun turn two 
Luckily, that was behind us. Oh, Aston Martin would have had a good view of that. Not a bad spot to uh, pass him. Only a tenth down on Ockham. Does look like it's been a good lap, to be fair. P8, nicely done. Pierre beats him by one one thousandth of a second. Very tight. It's good. I think Q2 will definitely be harder, but it's nice being in a position where we're not scrambling to get out of Q1 like we was at the beginning of the season. So after all that, Ricardo's grid penalty is not actually going to make a massive difference. He's already starting 18th. I think what we might do, might do a run on Scrubbed and then go out. Wow. He got held and he set a quicker lap time. I play. Yeah, that is a whole host of traffic for uh, Esteban, that is. Yeah, Ocon's out. Ocon's definitely out. So's Gasly. Damn it, man. Oh, he somehow improves. Yeah, you got held. Two cars, a bit of three cars. I think Gasly's through. I think he is. Oi, oi, oi. Really poor, that. I don't see Sergeant improving, to be honest. Wow. P14 for Ocon. Questions will need to be asked where his head is. Okay, but yeah, let's see what you got, bud. You will have a lot of traffic, but it is also just a banker lap. That was a bit of ropes, wasn't it? 28-2 on these tyres is really good. Though. Sector 1 for Pierre, to be fair. Oh, okay, he's actually improved. He hasn't got a full battery. I don't know how. Pretty sure he was harvesting with him. That's crazy, that. He's actually gone slow as well. But he's definitely going to run out of ERS now because of that, which makes no sense. He actually just took 10% out of these tyres for no reason, basically. There's a yellow flag now. Look, he's barely going to have DRS, ERS again. I don't understand this. Oh, I know his ERS is scuffed in it, but Christ. Yeah, his ERS is doing him in, I think. His ERS failed at just the wrong time. Oh, yeah, yeah. This might actually not have been the best idea. <clears throat> well, I'm going to have to find out. Well, it won't be long before the drivers hit the track for 53 laps around Monza in what should be a fast and fantastic race. Monza, a centurion among circuits ripping with motorsport history. Expect to see cars fly by as 80% of the track is tackled at full throttle. It's not all go, however, and brakes can be prone to overheating through the tight chicanes that Monza has to offer. It's race day, and final preparations are underway. Okay, so starting P7, P12. Medium to hard. Mm, I don't know about that. Medium, medium, soft, I think, maybe for Ocon. I do think medium hard is probably going to be Pierre's best bet, to be honest. That's just not possible. Poor Pierre, man. The anticipation is really building here. The fans in attendance are absolutely buzzing with excitement. If Pierre Gasly's feeling the pressure, he's certainly not showing it. They've done really well to secure a P7 start. Some solid points could be on the cards today. And the time has come. Let's go racing. Here we go. It's the Italian Grand Prix. Hold on to your butts. See what we can do off the line. Everyone in their nans basically on mediums. Ah, maybe had a three-place grid drop from the last race, maybe? It's the only thing I can think of, rather than anything else, really. Well, in Pierre, Ocon's lost out to a Haas, man. Are you joking? What a shambles. Oh, yes, he lost out to a uh, Aston Martin, to be fair. I don't mind that so much. But the Haas, hey. Oy, oy, oy. Okay, Esteban, lad, going to need you to get past this Haas. Like, liggity split. Takes off balance for one lap. Come on, Esteban, send him down the inside. Lovely stuff. Right, we're going to need to be very careful on this now. Ocon is shaping up for a move. Oh, my God, we're going to be three wide. I'm so glad we weren't three wide. Holy crap. That would have been an absolute disaster. Round the outside. Oh, that's lovely. We've got a slipstream as well. Now we go. Oh, my God. Beautiful move up to ninth. Perfect. And we pass Russell as well. We're moving, moving. Good lads. Lovely moves. Right. So we need Ocon to catch up as soon as we can, as quick as possible, to um the other cars. Oh, dear. Oh, the McLaren and Science are battling up front. Here comes Russell. That'd be from a long way back. Oh, my God. Good move. Oh, no. We don't need him behind us. Oh, God. Right. It's not ideal. Oh, goodness. Is Russell's closer to him than we are to... Oh, he was. That V carb is so quick. It's actually vile how quick that is. In um, one of my friends, Ben, his save, the V carb is actually the quickest car. Like, it's quicker than the Red Bulls. It's quicker than his car. It's mental. Well done, Pierre. I swear to God, if he actually rear ends us, I will actually lose it. I'm not going to lie. Ooh. Ooh. We're annoying him. Off on his catching. He's getting there slowly. The longer this goes on, the better. Beautiful. Oh, Russell's going to go through. You know, Pierre's really good at defending. I'll give him that. Probably all the practice he had earlier this season, to be honest. Nice, Pierre. Well well managed. 
I'm not actually sure why Ocon can't catch up. Oh my god. Snell is absolutely blowing us up. Oh my god, Gasly's absolutely blowing him up. That was a beautiful. We definitely need him to catch up. Oh my god. Um well good news is we're about past, but he's definitely gonna pass us on the DRS now. A thousand percent. And we didn't really defend that, did we, Pierre? Let's be real. Oh, we might come back at him though. Gave us the room. Okay. We're working together, are we, Yuki? I don't mind it. Nice. Interesting. And we just have Ocon who just can't catch up. Come on, boy. You only need to get in here. Should have DRS, right? He does. Beautiful. Oh my god, we're four wide. Oh my god. We can't let Yuki get away. We have to stay on the back of him, of him at all costs. Can't let him get away. Okay. Go back up to him. That's the main thing. Now we just need to get past the two Mercedes as well with Ocon. We have DRS, which is good. Come on, Esteban. Come on, Esteban. Ugh. Esteban's strategy just isn't working at the moment. No, it's just not working. Already come out in a small pocket. Oh, looks like Lewis has tried to go for it. But we'll have you back. Here comes Sonoda. So we'll have Slipstream. Oh, my God. Come on, Esteban. Oh, yeah, we'll get a better run. Damn it. Go on, Esteban. Come on. Down is inside. Good lad. Okay, that's good. We kind of need to stay in this pocket as like as long as possible. Come on. Well in. Oh, that's a bit naughty. It's all good, though. Going to keep Ocon out as for as long as he can hold on to this train. Can he make a move? Almost got past. Only concern the thing is Perez and Norris aren't a million miles away behind us either. Oh, I thought he was going to go for them. Oh, no. Come on, Pierre. you got to hold this, lad. Hold this and you'll get slipstream. Nice. Good lad. Oh, Yuki's going to get slipstream. Oh, no. Oh, no. Thank you for giving us slipstream. Good pit stop as well for um, Ocon. Oh, we could have done with coming out ahead of that car. We'll come back to that in a minute. We're all almost two by two. Nice. Go past them on the DRS. Oh, I don't like this. But the fact we've lost out to the V carb is not good. Send it. Good lad. I didn't think he'd be able to hold it through there, to be honest. I would have been asking an awful lot for him to hold it there. Good lad. Although I've seen this before. Yeah. Damn. That was such a weird situation. Wow. What an unbelievable joke. He shoved us off track. Right, we're taking the second corner. The gap opens up for them. Russell, wasn't it? Unbelievable. What a complete arse. Lost about four to five seconds as well because of that. And we're now out of the leading group. That's Pierre's race over and done. I don't believe that. What a load of crap. And they're all going to get a free pit stop on me as well. What happened to Ricardo? We see it. He's just stopped. Well then. Yeah, of course, they'll come into the pits. Of course. They're all going to get free pit stops. Beautiful. Yeah. He doesn't pass any of them. 2.7 second pit stop. Good pit stop. But, yeah. We should be in a much better position than we are, man. Absolute joke. Again, it's ironic because I said if that happened to Gasly in Austria when Gasly was pushing him wide, I'd be livid and, you know, here we are. Right. Come on, Pierre. Well, come on, Ocon. Sorry, not Pierre. I mean, Pierre's sent it up the inside of the Aston Martin. Oh, my God, we're three wide. Why are we three wide? And he's just backed out of it. Unbelievable. I, we just lost so much time and Stroll's got a problem. Mate, all this stems from him being pushed wide. What an absolute joke. Another safety car. This is just going to make their hard tyres last even longer. Terminal failure. Absolutely gutting. Unreal. Yeah, they're going to be able to go to the end on this now, I reckon. Yeah. This, given how long this is staying out, it's an absolute joke. Hey, let's let the AI just absolutely blow up. Let's just keep the safety car out so long that the AI can now go to the end. Let's see how Pierre's going to get screwed this time then, shall we? What? Right. So the game just broke. So no to spun. No. Sorry. This is so dumb, man. So he just spun. Perez is on the gravel. Oh, don't worry. He's still driving on the road completely fine. Yeah, whatever, man. Honestly. Yeah, mate. Do you want to maybe just actually go for an overtake rather than just sitting in his DRS? Might be helpful. Genuinely. He's now fallen almost a second out of... Hulkenberg, you know what? This race is so scuffed, man. Every time we're in a really good spot with a really good strat, BS safety car comes out or some BS crap happens, man. We're going to drop like an absolute rock to the back of the field when we have our pit stop as well. And yeah, now Ocon's been passed by Norris. There's now a second off of that. You know what? Yeah, this race is scuffed, man. Ha ha. Serves you right. Oh my God, he's still on the... Why did you back out? He was on the grass for a reason, mate. Unbelievable. Are we seriously being passed? Why Why is he braking in a straight line? What is wrong with this? 
Sorry? Like, tell me what's wrong with this here. He just braked on a straight line so Hulkenberg could pass. Like, what is going on? Haas is going to get a bloody point. You know what? Get him out of this because, you know what? Since he's been shoved off track, it's just been a shit show. So as I'm editing this back before I upload it, watching this head loss when my head's absolutely on Mars, you think this is good? Oh, you should wait till Qatar. I'm like, I can't believe it, man. We should be up there in 5th and 5th and 6th, man. We shouldn't be down in 9th, 12th, soon to be 17th and 18th, do you know what I mean? It's an absolute shambles, mate. Absolute shambles. Go on. The only thing that could cap this off even better would be a really bad pit stop. Yeah, it's not a great pit stop, is it? Wow, would you look at that? 17th and 18th. Imagine my surprise. Absolute joke. And Ocon's going to get stuck behind these guys. Just pull out, mate. Just literally pull out and pass them. So, Whatever. why are you waiting? It looks like a pit stop issue. Ocon, mate, you best speed up. We want to get these points. Can't wait. Over 10 seconds off the pace, mate. We're 10 seconds behind the Williams. There's no way we get points. Oh, you need to send it. There goes one. On. So you can just move dangerously on the, on, on the straight like that, yeah? We've now lost so much time because of that as well. And Pierre's almost gone through. Come on, Pierre. I don't see how we're going to close up 6.8 seconds. Well done, Pierre. Good lad. Come on. Come on. Nice. Right, let's close up to Albon as well. Pierre, mate, you best get a, a jig on as well, bud. At least the Haas ain't going to score points. That's the main thing. I think the best we could both get is 9th and 10th. That's probably the best both boys, both of our boys could get, to be honest. Nice. Nice easy move. Good job. Oh, Piastri's in the pits. Banner. Come on, Pierre. Good move. B E A. Beautiful. Uh, I don't know if any of their tyres are going to fall off, but I suppose we can push just in case. Oh dear. Russell's had a spin. Serves him right. Dick. Look at how many drivers have got faults, by the way. That's absolutely mental. Uh, yeah. Why is your ERS rebooting? Sorry. What's going on here? Hello? What the hell is this? Come on. Okay, good. He's got some ERS now. That's good. If they didn't have that VSC wouldn't have made it to the end if they didn't have such a long safety car none of them would have made it to the end none of them overall though it's a good recovery drive back to back to back double points finishes so that is one thing but we should have made a much bigger dent into the v-car than this got it down to 11 points but again it should have been a lot more we should have had at least seventh and eighth what a master class drive from pierre gasly today an outstanding performance today to have made the top 10 not many would have expected this from the team to be honest Pure relation there as the driver regroups with a team that worked so hard to see this moment. Well, Max Verstappen can add yet another podium to his already impressive record. Six wins now in this season. They're not flagging. A mighty impressive victory. Oh, I hate Russell so badly, dude. So badly. Yeah, down to 11 points. Didn't even get in the top 10. Brilliant. Well, at least we had some good pit stops, right? That's the main thing. Well then. I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. A bit of a frustrating one, but again, at least we did get a double points finish. I'll see you in the next episode for back here. If you have enjoyed, please make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.